I love my friends. My name is Justice, and I can't thank you enough for being here today. Although I'm thinking about changing this channel's name to covering the news that matters that nobody else will cover because it goes against the prevailing narrative. There are so many stories happening right now that the average American isn't aware of because the mainstream media simply won't cover it. And why? Well, it's pretty easy when you watch today's story, a story that was absolutely intriguing. You can go ahead and use every word you want, bombshell, mega, whatever it is, but it truly is. But you can barely hear a whisper about it. Did you know that Leonardo DiCaprio just gave testimony in a federal trial against rapper Pras Michelle involved in and participating in a scheme to lobby Washington on behalf of the Chinese government. You probably don't because no one dares cover it, I guess. I, maybe it's, it's too good of a story. It's too big of a story. But it's probably more related to who it involves. And not the Fugees, which Pras Michelle was a member of. That's where this all stems from. In this influence campaign, DiCaprio called as a witness, answered questions about his relationship with the Malaysian financier, Joe Lowe. We're going to cover more in this segment because it is the centerpiece of this segment. There's some strange pictures out there. Coincidental, I assume. Joe Lowe here with the Obamas. And it wraps fully back around to the Obamas. This federal trial itself. Again, kind of shocked you haven't heard much. Michelle is accused of eliciting, illicitly funneling money from Joe Lowe into the U.S. elections which is against federal election law, foreign investment into U.S. elections. Fairly simple. It's why it's a federal trial. But what is this connection between DiCaprio and Michelle? And how does it involve the Obamas? Well, that's what you're going to find out here today. And we can't thank you enough for tuning in. A couple favors. If you haven't gone to Restricted yet, and if you don't know, Lisa and I are spending a lot more time on the community page there, putting up on-time news on top of the featured content. She offered a monster discount. Discount code 48 at monthly checkout. Actually, let's skip that one. Let's go to Forever 4. That's at monthly checkout. That's going to get you $4 a month plus 14 days for free. An offer that won't be out there long. Get over to Restricted Republic. Watch our exclusive content. Uh, go ahead and participate in the community page where you can actually say what you want to say and do what you want to do. And also, if you go to we'reforkedup.com, you need a little bit lighter of a note. That's a channel Lisa Haven and I created, and you can spend a night out with us. Uh, it's an amazing platform. It's grown exponentially. We'reforkedup.com. Get over there today for something entirely different. But what is not entirely different is the story we're covering today. It's so not different in so many ways. It's dumbfounding to me that, again, no one's covering it. Michelle Obama. Ha! Not that way. That's actually rapper Michelle on the left and Obama on the right. Prosecutors put Michelle in the middle of two different sets of alleged crimes. First, an illegal plan to enlist people to attend a fundraiser dinner for Barack Obama during the 2020 presidential campaign, reimbursing them $40,000 a piece using, according to this trial, foreign sources of money for the cost of the tickets and then threatening some of them if they came clean to authorities. Wow, what an amazing scheme, huh? The second plan allegedly involved a secret lobbying campaign to help the billionaire low lean on American justice officials and White House officials when his fraud scheme unraveled and to help the Chinese government secure the return of a dissident who was living inside the U.S. and developing close ties with former Trump advisor Steve Bannon. That story isn't all it's cracked up to be, and I will get to the full story of that here in just a few minutes. The defendant, Praz Michelle, received over $100 million from Joe Lowe, a foreign fugitive responsible for one of the largest embezzlement schemes in history. And he uses back channel influence to convince the then president of the United States to drop a federal investigation. Again, they keep keying in on that, don't they? But that's not where the story is. No, the story is a lot more right here. Michelle is a founding member of the 90s rap group, The Fugees, who is also accused of taking bribe money to lobby Washington on behalf of a Malaysian financier, 
and the Chinese government. Prosecutors said Michelle funneled millions from Joe Lowe into Obama's 2012 re-election campaign and hid the source of the funds. Federal election law prohibits foreigners from donating to U.S. campaigns. Pretty clean, pretty cut and dry. Have you heard about it? I'm sure you, a lot of you haven't. It's okay, that's why you watch this channel. Actor Leonardo DiCaprio testified on Monday in Washington, D.C. that the financier Joe Lowe told him that he wanted to donate $30 million to Barack Obama's 2012 re-election campaign. Of course, now that begs a much larger question for many of us. Why? It was a casual conversation about what party he was in support of. DiCaprio said, telling jurors that Lowe said he planned on giving a significant donation to the Democratic Party that was somewhere to the tune of 20 to $30 billion being alleged to go through rapper Michelle, who did not tell anyone where the money was coming from. And hence, we have the federal lawsuit. Now, Lowe has a long, sordid history. Kuwait criminal court sentenced Joe Lowe to 10 years in prison. Of course, he wasn't there. He's hiding out in China. All a part of this player in one of the biggest corruption scandals ever involving Malaysia. And he extorted a great deal of money. He then used that money, well, everywhere he went. Joe Lowe lost $26 million playing Baccarat during his trip to the Vegas casino, but that's where he got to meet a lot of these celebrities and how it all relates back to Leonardo DiCaprio. Because he paid DiCaprio and many other celebrities simply to attend his lavish parties. At one, he paid Britney Spears to pop out of a cake for him. The man lives a lavish lifestyle. And hence, all the celebrities who I think DiCaprio got paid $500,000 to show up to one of his parties. So yeah, it appears he does have an inside track. Lowe had a ton of money. He also is accused of having embezzled that $4.5 billion from Malaysia State Investment Fund. But he's reportedly hiding out in China so that Malaysia can't get him, nor anyone else, in which and where he's been convicted. Enter Praz Michelle of the music group The Fugees to allegedly help make those donations to the Obama campaign since it would be illegal for Lowe to do so. Well, it's also illegal to put it through Pras Michelle, and hence we have the federal lawsuit. Prosecutors have accused Michelle of receiving $21.6 million in payments from foreign accounts linked to Lowe, which the rapper then paid out to roughly 20 straw donors. In other words, passing money to someone else to go ahead and contribute to the campaign without declaring where the money came from, and you have a big issue here. From June to November of 2012, those 20 or so donors were expected to make contributions to the Obama campaign in their name so the money wouldn't be traced back to Lowe, according to court documents. After DiCaprio testified, <laughs> well, everyone came out of the woodwork because they realized they all have a mega problem on their hands now. More witnesses came forward and testified that they have been approached to make shadow donations to the Obama campaign. They also alleged Michelle and others tried to interfere in the Trump administration's investigation of Lowe, but that effort failed. You see, you have to find that in a subtext because you can't find it anywhere else. No, they'd rather try to push this off on Trump just like they push everything else off on Trump. But the facts of the case is the pros Michelle of the Fugees has now been indicted for illegal donations to the Obama campaign in 2012. Leonardo DiCaprio has come out and testified that he was witness to the statement that Lowe wanted to get money to the Obama campaign. And what we have here is an absolute mess, but amazingly not covered by the mainstream media especially in light of new investigations revealing that even the Obama, uh, the Biden, sorry, uh, slip of the tongue there, I guess, a little bit, huh? The Biden family members received payments from Chinese companies also. This is a serious national security concern. It should be front page news everywhere, but it's pushed to the annals of, well, I guess news that doesn't matter to them or news that's inconvenient to them. Although convictions are ongoing, Ho Wan Kwok, I'm sure I mispronounced that, Miles Guao arrested for orchestrating over $1 billion fraud conspiracy. How big is this case? A number of people tied to Michelle's far-flung alleged plan already have pled guilty or secured immunity from the government. 
including a former Justice Department lawyer moonlighting at work for Michelle while he served in the government. That's right. There's already been convictions. There's already been people pleading guilty. There's already people securing immunity. Can you name a single one? I bet you can't because this is shelved by mainstream media. 90 prospective jurors are headed to the court for what could be an extensive vetting out process. In courts last week, prosecutor John Keller estimated the Justice Department could call as many as 30 witnesses, with defense attorney Kenner estimating around the same number. This is a huge trial. As Braz Michelle stands trial in Washington, D.C. for conspiracy and other charges, and Leonardo DiCaprio just blew open the Chinese ties. It's amazing to watch as Leonardo DiCaprio is killing him softly. I know, play on words, and if you know the Fugees, you would know exactly what I'm talking about because that was one of their hit songs. Killing me softly with his testimony. Killing me softly, sorry. But I digress for a moment because everything always well, starts to make sense in the end, doesn't it? And I, I used to say, you know what, if, if I could make an arrangement where um, I had, a, I had a, a stand in, a front man. So today, as you all saw just an hour or so ago, President Obama announced that, pardon me, President Biden. Whoa.